Frenchman being new. I tried not to break the balance of price and quality. However, in a used car, many immediately notice a numerous faults. Let's stop on some. If the seven-seater version of the passenger van multi-space can be called a full-fledged modification with the stretch, then the two-seater cargo van with an all-metal body is just right. Heels, willingly bought because of the practicality and relatively low price. The body holds up to 3,700 liters of cargo, and the carrying capacity, according to the manufacturer, is 850 kilograms. However, according to the reviews of the owners, the van is capable of more. At the same time, they unanimously agree that acquiring such a Berlingo in the secondary market is a bad idea. Cars, known all over the world under the capacious abbreviation MPV, multi-purpose vehicle, multi-purpose vehicle slash English, we traditionally call heels or even vans. Nicknames are not offensive, rather, even cute. At the same time, people do not expect special talents and abilities from such machines, for giving them technological flaws, scarcity of equipment and asceticism for their versatility and diligence. They work on such cars, and therefore their margin of safety should be above average. Is this the case with the second generation Citroën Berlingo, which was born in 2008? In Russia, Berlingo was offered in five and even seven-seater passenger modifications, in a semi-truck version and in a two-seater modification, a commercial van. There were several engines, all petrol, fours, with a volume of 1.6 liters with a capacity of 90, 110 and 120 horsepower, as well as a 90 horsepower diesel engine. Everyone relied on the only transmission, a five-speed mechanics. After 2012, it was also possible to order a robot, which, due to the high price, is considered exotic in our country. Mostly gasoline modifications run on our roads, among the disadvantages of which are the high level of oil consumption by the 16-valve 1.6 TU5 JP4, and the frequent problems with the timing drive of the 120-horsepower 1.6 VTI EP6. Experts often recommend less powerful engines for purchase, so more reliable. A diesel engine is characterized by standard problems with fuel equipment and carbon deposits that accumulate in the lubrication system and at the bottom of the oil pan, which leads to wear, for example, of a turbocharger, from 50,000 rubles. Therefore, random gas stations are extremely contraindicated for diesel cars. Contrary to expectations, not everything is going smoothly with the MCP either. Many complaints about the falling backstage. More precisely, on the gearbox rods flying out of the ball joints. Not all boxes work clearly, there are hitches when shifting gears, although there were no mass failures in the box. The clutch runs for 80,000 kilometers. We were lucky with the Berlingo body, it is galvanized on all sides, so cars are very reluctant to rust. Many are not satisfied with its weak rigidity, which is easy to see on the go, especially for cars with a glass roof. In any case, the locks of the rear swing doors are quickly loosened and require replacement. But most of all complaints about the suspension. It happened that the front struts rumbled even in new cars. It holds our roads poorly, and by 50,000 kilometers it was often necessary to change not only the racks, but also the ball joints with steering tips. To sum up, there are not so many comforting factors left. The car is not ideal in terms of reliability and quickly loses value. It is better to look for an instance with a less powerful motor the dynamics of which is depressing. Well, put up with the vagaries of the suspension. Transmission. Expect a catch from a 5-speed gearbox is not worth it. Its main disadvantages are the short stroke and the lack of a 6th gear. Many owners noted that if the gears on the new car turned on oddly, with a crunch, then problems during further operation are guaranteed. However, even the howling of the box at some speeds did not progress over time. Engine. Many Berlingos like to stall on the go. The situation can be corrected by replacing the fuel pump. From the standpoint of reliability and maintenance costs, it is better to give preference to 90 and 110 strong veterans. They are not perfect, leaks through the valve cover gasket, throttle issues, failure of the lower engine mounts, damped ignition, but overall not bad. The 110 horsepower version is preferable if you ride with the full load. Suspension. Even on small runs, the suspension can tap on bumps. The source can be either the shock absorbers themselves or their top cushions. By 50,000 kilometers, most likely, it will be necessary to change almost the entire chassis, ball, tie rods with tips, silent blocks, hub bearings, stabilizer bar. 
Every 40,000 nanometers it is recommended to change the brake discs. Body and interior. If there are no complaints from the point of view of corrosion resistance to the body, then many note the softness of the metal by the formation of dents. There are flaws in the rear right view, the mirror does not work well. The soundproofing of the engine compartment leaves much to be desired. There are miscalculations in ergonomics. In some places in the cabin there is a feeling of savings on everything. Heating of the interior of diesel versions in winter is traditionally inefficient. Electric. There is a problem with the fuse box. They manifest themselves in different ways, from the failure of the fuel pump to the absence of a signal. Since the relays installed in the unit cannot be replaced separately, the entire assembly has to be changed. Paddle switches often require repair, sliding contacts burn out. There were failures of door limit switches, loss of contacts and the wiring of the heater fan, but in general, the nature of the problems with the electrician is not massive. 